guys, it's Tina and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to cover redness on your nose. Now, this video is actually relevant for any other area of your face, but I just find that especially during this time of the year, during the winter time, the cold months of the year, a lot of people get sick and get stuffy and get cold and that makes your nose look a lot more red or pink toned. So I find that a lot of people, most people have issues, especially um, with the nose area when it comes to redness. Now I've had a little cold so my nose is a little bit red still underneath all of this. It's a lot less noticeable when I don't have makeup on but once I match my foundation to my face and I just leave the nose bare and I'm not, I don't touch the nose then um, it looks a lot more noticeable. You're gonna see in a second in the beginning of the video. Now obviously it's a lot faster and a lot quicker than in this video. I just take my time to explain anything that I do then obviously this video is going to be a little bit longer than it actually takes but it's really easy to follow so if you want to see how to cover nose redness or any other redness then just keep on watching. Okay so my nose looks ridiculous right now. It's actually even worse in person than it is on camera. But anyway, I actually picked on it a little bit and I kind of touched it just to make it a little bit more red for the sake of the video so you can really see how to cover redness. But anyways, um, let's get started. First, you want to start with a primer. Now, first of all, I want to say that it's gonna look like a lot of products on your nose, but first of all, we're using really thin layers so it's really not that full of a coverage. And second of all, when you have a red nose like this, then you don't really care, right? You just want to cover it and make it last all day long. So it will just cover the redness. So who cares? Anyway, we're gonna start with a primer that will make the makeup last longer. Everything that we put on top lasts all day and also to smooth any, um, any part that you might have on the nose to make the makeup go on smoother. So I'm just going to start with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is the smoothing one. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my finger and apply it on my nose. So then, um, sometimes, especially on the nose, I find that pore filling primers might, some of them, make the foundation that goes on top break throughout the day, just break down on the nose. So you want to use something that is going to help the foundation stick to it. So right after I applied this one just to smooth the surface of my nose, I'm going to go over with the Skinnavia Makeup Primer Spray. This is the oil control one, but you can use any one of them. And um, what that's going to do is just going to help the foundation and the concealer that we're going to use on top of it stick to it better and last all day long. So I'm just going to spray it. Obviously, I don't do my makeup, like my face makeup and then the nose. I do the nose with the whole face makeup, but just for the sake of this video, I've already done all my makeup. So usually I would spray this all over my face, not all over my nose. Okay, so now you want to go with a color corrector. Now you want to use a green or a mint green undertone concealer or color corrector. If you have the uh, primer for Makeup Forever, for redness which comes in a green tube then you can use that one instead and just skip this step and just use it as a primer and as a color corrector all in one and then spray with the makeup primer spray and move on to the next steps but if you don't then you can you just use a green toned color corrector or concealer or anything like that I'm going to use this little color wheel that I have and I'm going to use this mint color I'm going to use my beauty blender to apply that so I'm taking just a little bit on the tip of the sponge like this and I'm just going to dab that on my nose. Now you don't want to use too much because you don't want your nose to look green obviously even underneath the foundation but what this is going to do is just to um, neutralize the redness. So it just eliminates the redness and you can see that right now my nose with this mint green concealer on almost looks white if you look closely it almost looks white just because it cancels out the redness neutralizes it and just makes it looks look white so now we have a great base to put the foundation on so now i can just go over with your regular foundation i'm just going to go with the maybelline fit me matte and poreless on top using my beauty blender And 
then me personally, I really like to contour my nose, so I'm just going to go over with a cream contour using the Anastasia um, color cream, cream contour kit. But um, you don't have to do that. If you are not contouring your nose, just skip this step. And now you can go ahead and set it. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fake Me um, Matte and Poreless powder, face powder, and with my Sigma um, F20 brush, just going to powder my nose. Again, usually I do it all over the face, but since I already have my face done, I'm just going to put it on my nose. Then I like to go over with a powder contour. I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Kit in light, and I'm going to use this contour shade with my Sigma E35 brush just to go over the contour, intensify it a little bit. Again, this is the step that you don't have to do, has nothing to do with the redness coverage. Just what I like to do. So I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit and then I'm just going to take the highlighting shade with my Sigma F03 brush and just highlight the top of my nose and the tip of my nose a little bit. And then lastly, I like to lock it in place with a finishing spray. This is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray in Oil Control. Again, because I have oily skin, I just spray it all over my face when I'm done. I'm going to spritz it all over my nose right now. Because I already have it all, my, all over my face. And what this is going to do is just lock everything in place, make it stay all day and last longer. And it will also absorb any excess powder that you might have on your nose. So it will, won't look powdery and just keeps everything in place and makes it look a little more natural. Well, as natural as it can be. So as you can see, that's it. That's how you cover redness around your nose. You can also use these tricks to cover any redness all around your face actually, but I just find that a lot of people have the problem, especially on the nose, especially now during winter time. So I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you find this video helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you did and give this video a thumbs up on your, the way out. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you are subscribed, don't forget to click the little bell beside the subscribe button to get notified every time I upload a video because YouTube no longer does that by default. So um, yeah, I really hope you have an amazing week and I'm going to talk to you all on Tuesday. Bye.